Justin, what instruments do you play? Um, anything that I can hit and make sound with. Uh, I play a lot of instruments. Uh, all percussion, just like you. We both play all percussion stuff. Yeah. And then uh, he plays piano, I play piano. Uh, we both sing. Uh, I play guitar. Michael plays the banjo. He, he doesn't play the banjo. No, but essentially, the, we play most, most instruments that are needed for uh, any sort of popular track. Right. I know you give me a hard time every and you're time. Gonna say you always say this. the same thing. I am. Uh, I really like uh, Owl City and John Mayer. Oh, he switched it up this time. I Owl did. City. I know. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, what about you, dude? There's so many. There's so many. Um, well, who's Who's right now? Right now, who do I listen to the most? I've been trying out a lot of new albums. I've been trying out the Justin Timberlake's new album and Fall Out Boy's new album and Paramore's new album. But I think the one that I've enjoyed the most has been Bruno Mars's newest album. So I'd say he's he's solid. what's in my radio. It's pretty solid. 2009? Yeah, that May of 09. Um, Justin had just moved in with me. So we had just uh, became roommates and played basketball together a lot and stuff. And then Justin had uh, a band in high school. And so along with that band, he kind of accumulated some like recording equipment and stuff and so when he moved in he brought that over and at one point was like hey you want to make a song and I was like not really and he goes come on I'd be fine I'd be fine and I was like <laughs> alright so we did it and uh, then the track turned out pretty good we were both like yeah that's pretty sounds pretty good let's let's put it on YouTube or something so our friends can see it and went all the way from there the first thing we generally do we spend more time than we should debating on what songs we should cover uh, what songs we would like to cover that we'd like to have our names attached to uh, like, like literally days yeah, that, that's probably the longest part. And then once we decide that, we sit down for probably a couple hours and arrange all the piano work. Um, and then we move on to the studio to do vocal work. And the arranging kind of happens as it goes. We start at the beginning. Yeah. And I mean, there's been times that we've legitimately scratched the last half of a song in order to do another more complicated idea. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. We do a lot of on-the-fly uh, arranging mm -hmm. as well as we sit for, I mean, a good couple hours arranging the coolest piano part that was kind of a thing that kind of clicked with us from the very beginning it was like i really love harmony dude i really love harmony too so it was like we just instantly were like we like the sound of vocal harmony we think it's underused we think it's like undervalued and so that's kind of become our kind of thing is we are two guys on one piano type thing because that's how we started doing it and we really love the sound of vocal harmony and so a lot of our stuff has kind of been fused with it from beginning to end i, I feel in like the most the artistic years, we not only grown on how we approach it, but we, we do things better now in, in just for the song itself when we pick the song out. Like we used to just literally it was whatever we found. We right. liked it and we did what we could and now there's very much like every note that's in every song is we, we chose for that note to be there. Yeah. And that and sometimes we sound like that and, and we it, spend way too much time like critiquing but, exactly what we want. But I love that I can look back at through the years and see that like the progression of like we're so happy with this last album because we were finally at the point that that was what was happening. Yeah. Before that, we were kind of just doing whatever yeah. we wanted. The last album when we put it together, um, some harmonic, is that what it was? Yeah. Harmonic hyperbole um, had every song that we wanted because we picked that specifically yeah, for the album. And yeah. So that was nice. That was, that, that was so many things. Well, okay. Um, when we first started, it was a lot of what song do we like? So we did that. Like when Fireflies came out, we were like, man, I love this song. We are like, yeah, I really like this song too. And so we covered it. Um, when we first started out, we did a lot of Mayday, um, Mayday Parade, because at that point, that was a lot of what we were listening to. And that was a lot of our influence, too. That's kind of the, uh, gave us the idea for songs with harmonies and two vocalists that are yeah. both right. lead Carry but not. Two. What right. songs do we want that we like and, and all those things, but what songs will fit well with what we do? And then sometimes we actually do kind of go with um, things that are more um, like like Jason Derulo stuff this is so out of our kind of realm of what kind of fits like doing a John Mayer song is kind of transitive because it's very acoustic sounding so taking it onto piano and doing a lot of vocal work it just sounds good because that's kind of John Mayer style already and so we like to take on challenges like a Derulo song that's very very pop heavy very electronic very like groove oriented and turn it into kind of like a piano ballad. I think mm -hmm. we did that with uh, like In My Head and and it girl um, just trying to take those and turn them into something that they're not and so I don't know and there's a lot of things that go into it and they're kind of all different it kind of just depends on the song how we approach it every I'll be your soldier fighting every second of the day for your dreams girl I'll be your hover 
You can be my destiny's child on the scene, girl. And don't stress, and don't cry. We don't need no wings to fly. And just take my hand. As long as you love me, we could be starving. We could be homeless. We could be broke. As long as you love me, I'll be your platinum. I'll be your silver. As long as you love as me. As long as you love me. If I die young. Well, very cool. Katie, thank you so much. Thanks for uh, having us and thanks for the interview. And see ya. <laughs>